So that was a gun disarm. There's stuff like this all over the internet, but does it work? Could I actually do that? He got a takedown, he took the gun out of the guy's hands while flipping him. This right here is not the only gun disarm on the internet. In fact, it's not the worst either. Huh, that was so fast, I don't think I caught it. So my goal for this video is going to be to test out like the top five most popular gun disarms on the internet. And I guess like figure out if they're possible and if they're not possible, maybe a better solution. If there is one. Okay, so this one starts off with it pointed at his head. Uno, due. I mean, I don't know a lot about this stuff, so I could be very wrong. We'll get some experts' opinions later. Grabbing the gun and then punching, I feel like that makes sense. Like, I feel like that's good. This reads as such. Unbelievable double gun disarm by Victor Marks. World's fastest gun disarm man. Let's watch. <laughs> This right here is how you guys are gonna look when I pull off all these stunts. Okay, I'm slowly starting to lose a bit of trust in these YouTube videos about how to disarm gunmans. But this one's by a local ABC news station, so they wouldn't let me down, surely, right? So watch this. Ooh. That's gonna happen nine times out of 10. Nine times out of 10? Well, I like those odds. Perfect, okay. Doing these by myself in my office wasn't gonna cut it. I'm obviously too skilled and talented to take the gun from myself. <laughs> That's the goal, I guess, huh? <laughs> I'm not feeling hopeful about this. Man. I'm going to disarm you. Don't let me. Okay, so we like didn't flip, but at least I didn't get shot. Oh, okay, right. never mind. So that was 0 for 1. Here, let's try I don't always get food ads. So don't think this is my buying habits, it's just mayonnaise. For this one, punching mid-sequence makes sense, but then to me the grab after kind of okay. seems suspicious. But then, guess what? Uh, unexpected happened. It worked? Why? Why did it work? It wasn't, it wasn't supposed to work. So I'm pointing this at you. What are you gonna do, man? <laughs> so here's the problem with all of these. The reason that all these things get repeated is there's sort of a logic to them. If there's a gun pointed at your face and you do this, it's no longer pointed at your face. If you grab someone's wrist and grab the barrel and you twist it, it's really hard to hold onto a gun. The problem is in real life, the guy with the gun moves around. Most of the stuff you'll see that gets very popular, it's very fast, it's very clean. The guy holding the gun, other than holding the gun, does nothing. Okay, well that's like nice and all, but my odds aren't very good if people move yet, so let's try a couple more. <laughs> this one in particular, I couldn't make happen once. Give me that. I tried. <laughs> See, not only is it hard to do, but if you miss, then you don't have anything attached to the gun or the gun man. That's gonna happen nine times out of ten. Okay, you ready for something to happen to you nine times out of ten? Okay, no pressure, right? One times that. No, must be the other nine. Hold on. Two times. No, it's, it wasn't two. Three? No, like the concept three. of getting it off the chest makes sense. But it was supposed to go flying. You didn't let it go. Another problem I was having while drilling is that in order to do a fair amount of these moves, I had to put these guys, these goons, if you will, in the perfect position. Oh, you're going that way. Oh, that kind of changes things up. Uh, switch your feet just for the sake of just to make it as possible as possible. What is common bad guy gun behavior? That's one thing that you often see, yeah right, who's gonna walk up and hold a gun right up against you? Criminals. Criminals do that. The experts <laughs> would be like, no, I, if I was gonna rob somebody, I'd rob them from 20 feet away. And the reason that people point a gun at you and don't shoot you is because they want something from you. Ultimately, it felt like with these gun disarms, I more often than not did not disarm the gun. <laughs> but that was like the main thing I was going after was the gun. Precisely. There's still a whole person attached to the gun. Like that's who you're fighting. People see the gun and they're like, ah, that, that's obviously that's scary. You don't think about that person, but the, the gun is just the tool. You have to constantly do it in a state of flux. Like I've got two hands on the gun, you've got two hands on the gun, and I'm like, oh, let me take a hand off to like fight you or push you or, or 
try to sweep you or, or strike you with something or apply a joint lock or use a pressure point or another weapon. And then in the middle of the yeah. fight, I have to I have to go back and forth between like, okay, two hands, no, one hand, no, I need this hand, no, I need, I get my knife out, you know, that sort of thing. Speaking of having your secondary hand being useful, this one is gonna have to be, I have two people here. So let's watch this one more time. Oh, sorry, woof, it's too fast. Oh, he does the same gun disarm that the other guy did, look. So he goes for like a, and then he like somehow, Pretty much the only move here I could consistently replicate was this belt grab chuckle thing. Everything else from there went pretty downhill. While it seems like a big old, you know, load of something, I will admit, how fast he does it's kind of wild. Nevertheless, I think this one just had all the right things to make it go viral between the charm of the guy and all the people applauding and then, you know, him not doing this. I think that helped. Anyway, we could probably scratch that one off. But what we should do is we should try a gun disarm, a regular one, on somebody who doesn't necessarily know what they're doing. I have no training whatsoever. Well, no, 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 I mean, that's, here. Whatever you do, do not be satisfied with me taking the gun away from you. Uh, ready? Now, while maybe this young gentleman's not a seasoned criminal, he's not standing still either. So these reps, while maybe clunky and a bit disorganized, are useful, very useful. He should be yelling for help, too. <laughs> now, this isn't perfect, obviously, but it's a little bit more ironed out than when we started. I do still have some disbeliefs, though. I don't believe that, like, you can just, like, and knock somebody's... Like, surely that would end badly for you. Nah, you t that part, that's, that's how these, like I said, that's how these things get repeated. That part, if someone's pointing a gun at your face and you go like that, call it a hot take if you want, I think most of the time, that first shot's gonna miss. So it can't be like reflexive though. I can't anticipate to be able to be like, oh, they're pulling the trigger. <laughs> no, let me be clear what I'm saying. I'm not <laughs> saying that as the trigger is moving and the bullet, <laughs> you know, or the bullet's coming out of the barrel that you're fast <laughs> enough. I think that they can almost always deflect the gun from that first shot if the shooter's not already in the process of shooting. The problem is that then the person will go, right? And it takes like no time to do that. Uh, it's not like we have a ton of data. I don't know how you would collect that data. Hey man, look. Okay, all right, look, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want, man? I'll kill you. Hold on. Wait a minute. I told this you. This feels wrong. It would have a bit more exit velocity too, right? It'd it's come out a bit faster. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, a little bit faster. Yeah, Real bullets <laughs> are a little faster. All we're testing here is the actual reaction time. I put forth that I think most people can do this part. I didn't believe you. Really? Yeah. Okay. So. So I proceeded to test this theory out. Like, a lot. As soon as you see me move, you can shoot. Okay. Granted it is with nerf guns, but like what else are you gonna do? I've never shot it. this thing, so I don't know how powerful it is. When it came to his reaction time to my trying to move the gun, I think I edged it out most of the time. Ooh. Finger absolutely Finger. gone. I lost a few fingers though. Yes. But let's take into consideration how much faster a real gun would be. Well, I managed to touch the gun here and get it off the line before he pulls the trigger. That part's not a problem. Hey man, look, give me everything. Hey, look, man, give me everything. Look, man, give me everything you got, all right? We have done some gun disarm type stuff in the past. That was like the inspiration for this video. And in it, you mentioned to me that you kind of have to mask what's going on and your ability to get off that center line or to like get a hand on the gun rather than just being like wild wild west sort of where it's like my timing versus your timing is that right yes absolutely that's just a drag race that's a, a term that Craig yeah, douglas right. uses you're just relegating mm -hmm. it to a coin flip my reflexes and timing versus your reflexes and timing three two one go craig uses in his courses a term that i really like he calls it cognitive friction. Uh, basically just m making them have to think about something else. And it'll often be asking a question. He has a great video that he did with John Lovell from Warrior Poet Society, where he talks about sort of talking your way to the gun, talking your hands up to the gun. Because if your hands are down by your side and they're three feet away from you with a gun in your face, you're not gonna get that gun. You have to talk your way to them and ask them some sort of question, get them thinking about something other than that. Because once you get them to go like this, that's when you go. And then still, the odds are not as bad as they were. They're still not great. There's no like 
one weird yeah. trick to always nine times out of ten. <laughs> nine times out of ten. Put the pizza down. Put the pizza down. Give me the money. Put the pizza down. Then give me the money. Okay. Chill out, dude. I'm going to give you what you want. My money's in that pocket, in my right pocket. What else is in the pocket? Yeah, I mean... You I, got talking about you. Talking the way definitely helps. Yeah, you got talking about you. I got to fight you. I am. And I'm going to fight you here. Yeah. And I got to fight you in phys the physical plane. Right. And in the metaphysical plane. So, are gun disarms really possible? I mean, like, yeah, they're possible, but they're also very obviously over-glorified, over-simplified. And yeah, I guess like an easy answer for, you know, disarming a weapon is... What, did you think I was going to give you an answer? Like the whole video is me saying that it's it's not that... I don't have an answer. This is the end of the video.